Hi, it's Mel Dennis here for another episode of In The Spin for the NRHA Oceana. I am standing here with Rod Osborne. Rod Osborne is a NRHA worldwide judge and is also quite heavily involved involved with the club the Calliope Sliders who's an affiliate of the NRHA Oceana. Rod has also been show manager at the Calliope Sliders Reigning Horse Club Queensland State Show um, and the NRHA Oceana Championships um, in October this year. In October this year, that is <laughs> that is so right. Um, we've been very fortunate with the uh, Calliope Sliders to take on the challenge of running their own state show, but in addition to that, hosting the Oceana Championships. Um, we've we've conducted that uh, show here at Maryborough in Queensland, uh, and we've been showing here for the last week or so, and, and it's been a, an awesome week. It has. It's been a super hot week, but um, you know, and, and I'm from Victoria, so made the trek up to Maryborough. Super lucky, Rod, to be living in the in the backyard of the Maryborough showgrounds. It's so hot, I can't even form my words. Um, today's a bit nicer under the tree and the, and the breeze that's coming through. Rod, the show's been amazing. Um, as show manager, how have you found it? Yeah, I, it, look, we've got a great band of supporters, or the Clypey Sliders have a great band. Uh, very dedicated, passionate people, and my job is really quite easy. It has been um, a fabulous show to be here with the Calliopes and I know they do support a lot of the other clubs too which is one of the reasons why a number of, of us have come up from Victoria too so it's been a magnificent show. Rod, I just wanted to catch you on interview because you've got a, a long reigning, reigning career and just to I guess have a chat with you about the memories of um, first starting back in reigning. How long ago was that? That would have been back in the late 80s, uh, 1980s, I would have commenced my interest in reigning. Uh, at that time, I, um, it was pre-Reigning Australia, or in those days it was NRHA, National Reigning of Australia. And uh, my wife was involved, uh, my wife Carmel was involved in the general performance of the quarter horse industry and I found myself going off to the various shows supporting her and, uh, and, and the one event that I longed to, uh, to go watch was the, was the reigning classes and uh, so we would uh, certainly uh, keep an eye on the program, make our way over to the pen to watch a very small number of reigning horses go through and uh, so, so my passion grew from there and I think as I recall I uh, went off and uh, purchased a, um, a, a booklet that um, Al Dunning produced, uh, Expensive Hobby, and, and that was probably the only book that I've ever read in my life, I think. No, no YouTube back then, I, so that's over 30 years ago, Rod. That's over 30 years ago, and, and I, uh, it was very fortunate, I guess, at that time, uh, I don't recall all the details, but Al Dunning came to Australia and conducted a clinic um, in Rockhampton and uh, so I, I loaded the horse up and, uh, and, and went up to Rockhampton and, and took part. Very, very inexperienced, very, very green to the sport but uh, that, as I recall, was my probably first introduction to uh, the serious side of reining. And what were you doing prior to reining with your horses? I wasn't doing much at all. I, I, was, I was a very late starter. It was my wife's passion and sport and uh, we, uh, w we would go off to shows and, and she would do all her performance uh, events and uh, it was actually probably a little bit by chance that I had the opportunity to, to um, take a horse on and, uh, and my interest developed further and, and, uh, and, uh, and then ended up with my own horse and, uh, and here we are today some 35 years later, still learning. <laughs> and that's, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Is always be learning.